I don't know about you guys, but I've had a hard time defending in FIFA 19. It's just difficult to me. Maybe not you, but for me. But I've figured out a way after losing so many times how to defend one sure way. Against a team like City, who's relentless, back-to-back, -back, ongoing. Yeah. So for this first game, I hardly saw the ball for the first half. Two great clubs in one great city. It's Manchester. It's City against United. It's live for you on EA TV. Coming up now. Welcome to you all. Welcome to East Manchester, the Etihad Stadium, the home of Manchester City. And it's a special place to be today because Manchester... So I won't keep you guys waiting. Every time I lose, it's because of this number one reason. I tell myself that I didn't try hard enough. I didn't press the button hard enough. I didn't concentrate hard enough. That is it. That's it. Honestly. When I'm defending against teams that are relentless like City, all I do is hold down L2 as hard as possible and press circle when I'm defending as hard as possible. That's it. Press this controller as hard as possible without breaking it, of course. This right here is the first wave. Like, they came back to back. But what I did was hold on to L2 or LT for Xbox. And don't lunge at them because City is a possession team, so there's no point in trying to lunge at them. I headed out the ball, they got it back, and at this point, I am trying to get the ball, but they're not giving it up, honestly. Block, circle. I used to always press box to defend headers, but it doesn't work on 19 for sure. So I always use circle, and I press it as hard as possible. That's the only way to defend to me. And then he missed that. Watch this corner right here. He's trying to cut in on the inside and I won't let him. I'm not falling for it. That's why he keeps chopping back. They gave it back to Bernardo. And they keep trying. Good header out. That's what you do. But the main thing though, when you're defending against teams like this, don't switch from player to player. Is that's why they pass around the ball so much. Keep the same player and watch them. Watch. Watch. Sometimes you need to toggle with R1. Good stop. Just toggle with R1 to keep them at bay. But don't lunge at them and don't keep switching the L1 button. Don't do that. Just watch them. Mares and Silva. Aguero. And honestly, for the rest of the game, that's pretty much how it's going to be. City's just going to keep coming. And I'm just going to keep blocking till I get my one goal. So, if you like this content, please subscribe. I'm going to have more videos in the future. Well, you can't separate City and United in this Manchester derby with half-time on the horizon. Yeah, it's really gone quickly so far. I think the fans inside this ground have lapped it up. Bullet. Fabian Delph could get his cross in now. Bernardo Silva. Walker! Manchester United get the second half underway. It comes out off the. Sergio Aguero. Good vision. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Fred. It's a good cross. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah. Number 19, Leo Sano. And number 20, Bernardo Silva. Coming onto the pitch. Now Fernandinho. Seven, De Bruyne. And number 21. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes. Still 45 minutes to go, of course. Great ball. He's in. Sanchez. 
He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Sterling. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture. Manchester City, they'll be facing West Ham United away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. What about Manchester United's next game, Alan? They're playing Crystal Palace in the next match. Don't see them having too many problems. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. He can put them in front. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front. And with their attacking prowess, no one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score. And they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. Silva. Now De Bruyne. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Plenty of space out wide and they're going to use it. Chance for the cross. Vialba. Now Bay. Well, for me, Alan, this guy's playing uh, really at the top of his game. Do you think so? He looks that way, Martin. This might be it! Well, he's reached that spectacularly. I thought that was in, Martin, I've got to say. Conceding the corner, now they've got to deal with it, the defenders. And they get it away. Lindelof. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. He just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. It just doesn't happen overnight, this kind of pressing, and it's working well for them, showing how much they've put into their training sessions. Into the attacking third. Strong challenge. Manchester City, piling men forward. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win. David De Gea with the save, a magnificent... It's going to be a double switch. Two substitutes coming on. Mares. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Riyad Mares. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. He's got to play it back to the goalkeeper. Fabian Dell. John Stones. Counting down in the last ten minutes here. Nine to go. What a good interception. Alexis Sanchez. And here's Paul Popper. And here's the shot. He blocked it then. No nonsense defending from him. And it's gone out of play there. Opportunity in a wider area. It's not looking good for Matt. Badly timed tackle. He'll be booked for that. Sometimes you see players on a good day and sometimes on a not so good day. Every, every time I see this lad play, it's a good day. Uh, and I'm not going to see him anymore because the manager's taking him off now. Yeah, he's one of those buoyant personalities. Doesn't tend to get down too easily. That's an important trait in a forward. That's safely away. And here we are with just three minutes remaining. 
had a go that on well, nowhere near and he was a long way out yeah i think that's a waste to try his luck from there read the play well the the players players indicated there will be a another two, two minutes, minutes added on by the referee the very difficult for manchester city trying to break down this mass defense to get an equalizer this late on put in by de bruyne cleared away by the defender plenty of width for well, there's the final whistle and it's a win here for manchester united they've got all the right 